And now to education. In order to solve the challenge of out-of-school children in Nigeria, development partners are seeking innovative ways of funding education. The partners say this has become really important as the government cannot tackle this problem alone. Correspondent or Kiemote Monira reports. The challenge of out-of-school children in Nigeria may be the biggest of the hydra-headed problems facing the country. More worrisome, though, is the non-availability of funds to drive and sustain enrollment, as well as ensure quality education. Instead of discussing the issues, development partners are bringing together citizens, civil society organizations, policymakers, and the government to seek innovative ways and models of funding education. Their reason is not far-fetched. If we don't spend money on educating the children of the poor now, in a very short while, all the national budget would have to be towards fighting crime and criminality. And so it is high time for individuals, it is high time for government, it is high time for corporations to begin to devote a certain percentage of their income towards helping the government. A niggling question at this point is why should citizens take up the role of government? This situation has overwhelmed the government. And therefore, uh, it's a clarion call for every one of us to get involved in finding a solution to the out-of-school children. The model to be deployed, it seems, has driven school enrollment in Kuchingoro community in the FCT. A survey of about 400 children revealed that 95% of them were out of school six years ago. Fast forward to last week, 98% of them are in school and only a handful of less than 10 children in your community were not in school. So we consider that a success rate. Education remains the major vehicle for sustainable development and solving the problem of out-of-school children would be akin to solving a large percent of the country's problem. Or Kiemote Imonira, STV News Abuja.